Okay, Island Hut video, week 8, 9, 10, and 11. Um, haven't had any videos on, haven't been feeling too well, and haven't completed a whole lot of work, so got a big planter out there. Um, done uh, a little bit of yard work uh, with some help, of course, and uh, some flowers coming out. The weather's just been gorgeous. So we could do a quick run of the outside here. Uh, last time the roof was done, uh, the soffit fascia and eaves trough has all been installed. So you can see that, uh, that uh, powder blue, uh, you know, it's like a powder navy, um, has been installed. So it's all, uh, all the way around. If you look at the color of the front of the house here, as far as the boards go, uh, the color of that was to run in line with the front of the house because I thought it was a, a beautiful color uh, with the uh, the aggregate on the uh, the rest of the house. So I went ahead and stayed with that. Coming into the front of the house, you can see I just uh, put some plywood down um, where different flooring is going to be installed. The rest of it's going to be hardwood, so everything you see on the floor there will be hardwood, uh, it, with the, this exception because of, you know, bringing in snow and water and everything else. So coming into the kitchen, everything in the kitchen is pretty much the same. Maybe it looks slightly different, but uh, insulation has, you know, been removed and reinstalled. There's some leaks in the wall there. They've been all patched up and, and, uh, ready to roll now. Uh, the ceiling, you can see all the holes in it for uh, pot lights and hanging lights and the whole nine yards. The uh, floor right here has been replaced. That used to be the old hardwood. Uh, it was squeaky like crazy, so we've got it pulled up and put new plywood down so the new hardwood on top doesn't uh, transfer that squeaky coming through. So that's all fixed up. I replaced uh, the old back door with a brand new uh, patio door. So that's a nice energy efficient. And as you can see in here, all the white uh, insulation has been the replaced uh, insulation. The uh, old uh, pink stuff is still in good shape and no wiring holes or anything behind it. So all the white stuff has been replaced uh, because we need to do some wall repair. Uh, make sure there was no uh, road damage in behind there, that kind of thing. Uh, coming into the uh, laundry room here, as you can see, uh, new flooring has been installed in there throughout. Automatic light here, let me get it turned on. Um, you can see the cupboards there, so now I've got a good place to uh, wash dishes because still living out in the garage. So now I have a nice place to do the dishes right there. And uh, the washer dryer is installed and enclosed with the countertop and panel. So now we've got a folding table and a good place to do the laundry. Uh, the powder bath here, the, uh, the toilet's been installed in there. So basically this, uh, this laundry powder area is ready to roll with the exception of the trim. The uh, lighting is also, I, I installed the lighting here. The, upstairs uh, hallway and the front door uh, entranceway will have the exact same light as that one right there so like i say this room's all done and painted ready to ready to go uh, this uh, box that you see right here that is going to be the vanity for the bathroom upstairs the main bath so i'll take you up here now if you remember in the previous videos this used to be the door for the main bath, but I was converting it to an ensuite. So the main bath is uh, now right here. And I'm going to go into a bedroom so I can shoot through the wall. Um, so you can see a flooring in there. Tub has been installed and is actually operating. So now I have a, a nice place to have a hot tub at the end of a long day. So anyway, so the vanity come back over here. The uh, vanity will be going uh, right there once all the drywalling has been done. And then the uh, toilet will be going behind what will be the uh, door. Coming down this way, like I say, since uh, the main bath door has been closed off from the other bathroom, it's now an ensuite. So if I stand back here, you can see I've cut a hole through uh, the bedroom wall into the other bathroom. 
and it hasn't changed much. I've uh, put in a new toilet in here. Let me open this door a little bit. So put a new toilet in there and installed uh, the new flooring. So this is uh, pretty much as it was before. Of course, you can see where the door used to be right there. But uh, once the drywallers get here, we'll patch that all up and uh, and get that fixed up and uh, ready to roll. Everything else has been, uh, you know, slow and the wall that was here was really rotten because it was leaking from uh, the roof upstairs. So I've replaced some of the uh, material there. Uh, the floor that was rotten replaced it and the floor joist underneath it was in pretty bad shape. I'll show you a picture from downstairs. Um, so all that's been tidied up. Uh, we still have a small leak so I'll be going up the, on the roof today to find out where it is. Uh, with the new roof and everything done, I have a feeling it's just, you know, some tar or some caulking or something that there's a little hole in that's just letting a tiny bit of water come in. Uh, as far as the basement goes, uh, I've got the walls, whoops, let me turn the light on here. Got the walls ripped out. Uh, this is going to be the project this week to gut this, take all the insulation out of here and frame up all the new walls, remove the wood stove, remove all that brick, all that's going to be taken out because it's not necessary anymore. So there's going to be a lot of work done down here. Bernie was here and started to do the prep work for the furnace because there was no furnace in this house before it was all baseboard heating. So he's brought the furnace and uh, some of the tin work and he's measured it all up and uh, uh, started prepping for that. He also brought the uh, hot water tank which would be a gas hot water tank right there as well as uh, the air conditioner which is uh, sitting outside. So anyway, uh, that's kind of it for right now. Oh, I forgot to uh, show the flooring upstairs from the, as you can see here from underneath, had to replace a whole lot of material because they they were quite weak and the floor had actually started to sag off of the outside rim joist. So, all those have been redone, uh, fixed up, and uh, made worthy once again. Anyway, uh, that's it for whew, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Sorry for the delay, but I hope that helps, and uh, we'll see you next time. Stay tuned. Thanks. Bye.